the government of this country wants to commemorate this? It's a joke. Hey everybody, it's Ben Scallon from Grip Media and we're just going to be talking to the people of Dublin about what they think of the government's decision to commemorate the RIC. Would you have any specific thoughts then on the government's decision to commemorate the RIC? And, and it's part of our history. It's part of what made us who we are, whether it be good or bad. It's an absolute disgrace. The English have been in this country over 800 years. They've taken a culture from us. Particularly, I think they should be on it. Yes. I think they gave their life as much as any Dublin or anyone from this country. Um, I don't think they should, really, because a lot of people were hurt by them. It's a very touchy subject, so I don't think it should be commemorated. Like, look at what the black hands done to this country, do you know what I mean? They were taken out of prisons in England and sent over here. They killed our men, they shot men, they burned houses to the ground. Yeah, well, I don't think it's such a good idea because the links to the black and tans and the auxiliaries, so it's part of our history, I presume, but it's still not a good idea for the history that they've done in this country, do you know? Well, I don't think it's the black and tans, I think that's the point. It's to commemorate uh, the Dublin Police, the DMP and the RIC. So, I mean, they were more or less doing their job in 2016, same as the guards would do now, they were only uh, keeping the peace. So I think it's right that uh, they should be commemorated, the ones that were murdered. I'd say no, not to, because they killed uh, lots of our ancestors and that. I think it's a bit of a joke, to be honest, because the people who fought for our freedom fought against the RSC and the Black and Tans, and the atrocities they caused in our land, it's a bit of a disgrace to commemorate them. Why commemorate murderers that killed women and children innocently, laying in their beds, brought men into laneways with, we'll give you this and give you that. And no, it wasn't. They murdered them in cold blood. It's very disrespectful to the whole country and to all the families that were like murdered by the RIC and all that. Do you have any uh, specific family uh, stories yourself that you might know about your grandparents? No, no, I'm just very much into my culture. And I think that if we, if we say goodbye to our culture, what have we left? Whether it's good or bad, I don't agree with everything, but I do believe it's part of our history and we have to commemorate it in some way. I'm not really, no. I probably do, but better off not talking about these things. <laughs> like my grandmother would, would have heard of you know, having to hide from them when they're walking up the street with, the, with, 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 her, with my great-grandmother. You know, having to run because these animals are coming down the street for fear of what they might do to the, to her or the children. No, not really, no, no, but uh, just knowing a bit of the, the history at the time. I mean, obviously what happened subsequently was very different. The um, um, black and tans, you know, and, uh, but I mean, that's, that's not what's been commemorated here. To commemorate murders, so we may as well do it everywhere. What's the, there's no difference. Murderers, why commemorate them? Why honour them? 